let's just get started. So I wanted to, before we meditated, I just, I had sent out a, um, an email talking about courage. And I was most inspired by David White. Um, he is a poet and um, there is a, um, a poem entitled Courage in which he wrote, and he simply states this, courage is the measure of our heartfelt participation with life, with another, with the community, a work, a future. And I kind of want to insert with ourselves, <laughs> it's heartfelt participation with ourselves before we even talk about life. Um, it's a heartfelt participation with ourselves. And when we started 2020, we talked a little bit at our first virtual gathering. We talked about the honor in continuing and basically that of honoring what has come to pass um, by welcoming and continuing in on what has and is emerging. And it's always a continuation of war, never forgetting the past, but understanding that we're always unfolding, we're always evolving and that continuation of transformation, that continuation of transition. But sometimes in the midst of that transition, sometimes in the midst of, their, of that growth, it can be very stretching. And we really have to dig deep and understand what it is to be able to move forward in the midst of that, in the midst of the stretching. And sometimes that stretching is good, and sometimes it doesn't feel so good. And so I can say that at least for January and February, it has been very stretching, extremely stretching. It's been an intense um, period of time for a lot of people energetically, a lot is going on. And um, it's just been where I've really had to dig deep. And that's where the meditation practice comes into, uh, it begins to ground even more. It begins to center even more. But even in the midst of it being a go-to, if you will, the meditation practice, or even if it's about just getting quiet and getting still, sometimes there's difficulty in that, of just being able, one, to get still. And then when you get still, being able to deal with the, in, the intense emotion, the intensity of all of what is going on inside. And so I think David White speaks to that in the fact that even in dealing with that difficulty, there's a sense of courage that you're exhibiting. There's a sense of courage that you're showing in just basically showing up for yourself. And so the idea is we continue on in courage. And what does that mean? How do we continue on? How do I, the question becomes is how do you move in and through all of just what's going on with yourself, what's going on with life, what's going on around us? How do you um, embark upon exciting times that may seem overwhelming? You're taking, taking a step of faith, a, step, a leap of faith in terms of doing something. How do you do that? And I think the first thing that you do is by seeing yourself one in terms of how is it that i i exhibit courage each and every day in our daily actions is one it's it's by recognizing and seeing yourself what the emotion is being very honest for me january and february was a very scary time um we were faced with um a family member that had a very serious health issue and I had to truly be honest to say, this is what it is. And it showed up in many different ways in my body and how I was reacting. And I had to be honest and say, <laughs> what is going on? I had to stop and in tune, if you will, with myself. So one, seeing yourself, being honest about your emotion, not covering it up, not trying to suppress it at all whatsoever, but recognizing what it is. And so in, in tuning, you begin to inquire, what is this really all about? It's not really about the fact that I'm uneasy, but I'm uneasy about what? And I was uneasy about the fact that I was scared. I was fearful. And understanding where that fear is. So one is, courage is about seeing yourself and being honest with yourself. 
seeing your emotions and being okay with that. Understanding that this is real. I'm not trying to not be authentic. I'm not trying to carry this cape of being strong and, and just not recognizing that I'm feeling this, but seeing yourself. But not only in seeing yourself, being vulnerable and understanding that I'm having this conversation with myself of saying I'm fearful. So what is it that I need to be able to give myself a little bit more ease, show myself a little bit more compassion during this time? And that looks very different for a lot of us. Sometimes it's the fact that you do have to have a conversation. You do have to have not a conversation with yourself, but with someone else. Um, it could be that you need to rest more. It could be that you need to pull back more. So it looks very different in terms of what it is in terms of being vulnerable, being vulnerable of being open to allowing yourself to get what you need, which is very, very important. So one, seeing yourself, first step in courage. Two, being vulnerable, having that inner dialogue. And not only that inner dialogue, the idea of what control and release of control is, of not resisting going against the current, if you will. Um, understand that there's something to be gleaned and it may not unfold right away, but understanding that there's something to be gleaned in terms of the vulnerability and understanding that there are certain things in terms of what it is that I need and being okay with that, whether it be stillness, whether it be quietness, rest, conversation, taking a break. But as you unfold in terms of seeing yourself and being vulnerable and having that inner dialogue, then becomes the insight. The insight in terms of knowing what you need and that's where the courage is. That's where the courage is because you allow yourself for a bit more space, a bit more ease, a bit more compassion, a bit more grace. And all of that generally unfolds to some clarity, some direction, and it's step by step. It's step by step. I feel like courage is about the small choices and the everyday actions. And that's what keeps me. It's not the big grandiose kind of like to die. <laughs> Here I am, and I'm going to take it on, and I'm courageous. It's the everyday actions that you take. It's the small choices that you take, bit by bit, step by step. Um, it's choosing to put one foot in front of the other. It's choosing to stop when you need to stop. It's choosing to speak to yourself in a positive manner, even if it's just for a fraction of a moment, subsiding that inner critic. It is being able to make a decision that you felt like you could not make the decision on. And being able to sit in sometimes being uncomfortable and unfamiliar, but remaining steady with that. So it looks very, very different for us. And one of the things that I want you to think about um, as we meditate is, and I'm going to drop this in the chat line um, to everyone, is two questions. What does courage look like for you in your daily life? And how do you acknowledge and celebrate courage in your daily life? So again, we, we always think of courage as these big moments, but it's the day-to-day. -day. It truly is. It's the daily, it's the day-to-day -day, um, spaces that we allow for ourselves. It's the day-to-day -day, uh, steps that we take. It's the day-to-day -day, um, choices that we make. 
in terms of courage. It's that participation with life. Um, David White goes on to say this in terms of courage, which I thought was just remarkable. He says this, courage is what love looks like when tested by the simple everyday necessities of being alive. Let me repeat that again. Courage is what love looks like when tested by the simple everyday necessities of being alive. It's the day-to-day -day engagement. It's choosing to continue on. It's that. That's what courage is. And so let's rest in that. The fact that showing up for yourself every day, that in and of itself is courageous. Being able to have voice and agency for yourself is courage every single day. Even in the midst of all of what's going on with you. And it doesn't mean that it's perfect, that it's pretty, and a lot of times it's not. And then on the other side of it, we go through seasons where everything is perfect. It's wonderful. And we celebrate that. But understanding that whether it's here or there or down the middle, the courageous part is that you're still moving forward. You're moving in and through it. And so with that, let's begin to meditate together. So let's go ahead and I'm give, gonna give you a couple of minutes to consider the posture that you like to be in. Whether it be sitting or lying down. And if it's helpful, having close to you a personal object, um, a touchstone or crystals, or even mala beads. Just take the next few minutes to be able to do that. And we'll wait, we have all the time in the world. <laughs> Just allowing yourself to get comfortable. And it's important that you take the time just to ensure that you are fully supported and your body is as comfortable as possible. And know that during this practice, always listen and honor first to what it is that you need. You are empowered and you can exercise the right to stop this practice at any time. You know what is best for you. So as we move into stillness, as you are ready, I invite you to close your eyes or if it's more comfortable to keep your eyes open, certainly do that and take a soft gaze. If seated or lying down, feel the support underneath your body. Relaxing the whole body. allowing the full weight to be supported. The spine and back is aligned and strong. Shoulders are relaxed. If seated, crown of the head is reaching up toward the sky. If lying down, the back of the head is resting and aligned with the spine. Forehead is relaxed. Eyes are soft. Lips and jaw are relaxed. Throat is soft. Heart is open. 
belly is relaxed, not holding anything in, making space. Placing your hands wherever is most comfortable for you. Now let's take a breath together, a nice full breath in through the nose and a long, slow breath out through the nose or mouth. And let's do that one more time, inhaling fully through the nose, exhaling out long, slow breath out through the mouth. Now let your breath fall to its own natural rhythm. Just an easy, relaxed breath. And as you're ready and comfortable, I invite you now to focus your awareness at the center of your chest the heart space. You may even wish to place your hand there to just feel this connection. And I invite you to imagine your breath flowing in and out of the heart space. With a deep inhale and exhale, just breathing a little slower and deeper than usual. Connecting with the breath or the feel of the hand against the chest or even the feel of the touchstone. And if comfortable, letting the breath be slow and smooth. And as you choose moving to evening out the breath, inhaling and exhaling at the same rhythm, whatever is most comfortable at this moment, Now create a restorative feeling such as appreciation, care, compassion, or perhaps that of gratitude for the courage that you show every day through your daily choices and actions. Deepening this feeling, hold it as you continue with the heart focus breath. And as we rest in this space, listen to the whispers of your heart, the voice of your heart. listening within the language of your heart. One that is unique to you.
As we continue to listen deeply to our heart, our affirmations will begin. As each affirmation is offered, you may repeat it silently. Allow yourself to rest in the intention expressed. Being present with self without judgment and with full compassion. I am life that has been gifted time. I honor the journey that has been brought to me to this moment. I release that which no longer serves me and my highest being. I continue to move in courage, grace, and compassion. May I soften and ease into the divine flow. I am life that has been gifted time. I honor the journey that has brought me to this moment. I release that which no longer serves me and my highest being. I continue to move in courage, grace, and compassion. May I soften and ease into the divine flow. And as we continue to listen deeply and speak deeply to our hearts, we now make intentional space for resting in complete silence. Know that thoughts will remain, they will be there. That is what the mind was created to do. But as you rest, Try not to attach to focus or judge or even analyze on any one thought. Much like the clouds in the sky or a car on a busy highway, just allow the thoughts to pass on through. Yet if the mind begins to cling to the thoughts, with compassion, gently come back to the feeling of the breath, a body sensation, or even a touchstone. Resting in silence, 
the bell will sound in 10 minutes.
listening for the sounds around you. Sensing the space around you. Noticing how you are feeling. Notice that you are breathing. Taking a deep inhale in, exhale out. And as we prepare to end our practice, introducing whatever feels natural to your awakening, moving your head side to side, wiggling your fingers, bringing your shoulders up to your ears, bringing them down. We'll close our practice by bringing our hands to heart center. Hands can be on top of each other. Hands can be with palms facing. May you be happy and peaceful. May you be strong and healthy. May you be courageous and confident. May you be safe and protected. May you be at ease with yourself just as you are leaving nothing out. Thank you all. The light in me sees the light in you. Namaste.